Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. There, you, there's a need for you to need to have more compassion with yourself here in a situation. Okay, I don't, I don't know why you're being hard on yourself, but stop. Okay, you're doing great. You're doing very good right now. Love yourself. Be gentle. Be a little bit more gentle with yourself, you guys. Nurture yourself and care for yourself because because I feel like you need more nurturing and believe in yourself, okay? Be careful with what you think, what you do, and how you speak, okay? That's very, very important here. Um, you deserve compassion. And you have the energy to give other people this compassion, but but be careful about who you give that to, obviously. Make sure you're giving it to yourself first. That's the current energy out here. It looks like there's some feelings of guilt here that need to be released. Uh, you might be feeling guilty about something and you are just, it's, it's wrecking your brain. It's got you in this eight of swords energy. Um, you don't really have any peace about the situation. You're kind of going over and over it in your head here, okay? It's like you don't see the answer. You don't have the answers here. But Spirit is saying, use your imagination, okay? Uh, and you'll see the answer. Meaning, hermit energy, you could be a Virgo or have some Virgo in your chart. That hermit energy is about wisdom, using the wisdom and the experience that you have to make better choices and decisions and moving differently to help you on your... That wisdom and that energy is guiding you on the path. It's like the light, the lamp that you're holding in your hand while you're on this journey okay so make sure that you're the answer is within it's in you you know the answer to this okay so you might be looking for some wisdom or creativity or something like like maybe you're not feeling like confident in your ability to do something or you you don't feel as creative as you used to here that could totally be the case here but there's something you do have the creativity there's something here or a miracle it's that you don't see you know so just gracefully accept and appreciate what the situation is right now and then pray and ask for help ask your spirit guides to help you and support you on this journey you know and and a lot of you guys are so focused you're like laser focused on like where you want your life to be in five years from now or or you have this idea and you know you've been working hard at moving forward, but you've been working so hard like you need to be a little bit more gentle with yourself because there's an energy here of like you having expected to be somewhere or to have something by now, right? This could be, well, oh, I'm 25 and I should have a house on my own home by now, or I should be in a relationship right now, or I started my business four years ago, but it hasn't grown to the ability of the, the amount of work I put into it. I'm feeling like I just want to give up and let go. Like, why hasn't this stuff come in for me? No, except where you are, think about, think about the things that make you grateful now. Because this envy energy here is the energy of not other people being jealous of you for this card in this deck, right? But this speaks, this energy speaks about having enough where you are in the current moment and not seeing it, not believing in it. Um, you know, it's like always wanting more, always wanting more. You have enough. You do. I just feel like you're being too hard on yourself. A lot of y'all are, you know, you could be an earth sign here. Strong earth energy is out here. Maybe even uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air energy is out here too. But I'm just going to tell you, there's some five of pentacles out here. And the five of pentacles is the fear. The fear um, is literally intertwined, I feel like, with the solution here. Because I feel like you guys are real focused on either your money, your finances, your career, and your purpose. And you're wanting to be doing more financially, doing better by now. And you're afraid that you might not be financially sound or financially stable. You may even have reached some form of financial struggle or challenge that's just a bump it's just a bump in the road here you and also too don't be afraid to ask for help because there's a strong energy here of you saying no i don't need to ask for help i'm not going to ask for help i need to do this by myself and i'm not saying you shouldn't do it by yourself but you should also not be afraid to ask for help here you don't have to go through this go through this challenge alone help is here help is nearby and i feel like your negative thoughts 
on creating your self-fulfilled prophecy is getting in the way because you're in this eight of swords energy. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> because the eight of swords is out here. Wow, you might be having, make sure you're speaking up for yourself when it comes to finances and money and career. A lot of you all, this has to do with your purpose. You know, you haven't found your purpose yet and you want to be accomplished. You want to be successful. You, you, you have plans or you're thinking about your plans and your financial success, um, but you're afraid, right? But some of y'all haven't found your purpose yet. All right. So maybe you don't know what you're here. You're meant to do just yet. Some of you all do know what you're here to do. OK. And but you're just in this eight of swords worry some energy. Again, we already have saw the eight of swords out here. Right. But here goes that worry. The lesson in this for you is for you to let go of the worry and know and be confident in what you're here to do and believe that's what you're here to do. Other people don't have to believe that as long as you're you're buying and you know deep down and within your heart that you're meant to be here to do whatever it is that you're meant to be here to do. Just learn that worrying is not going to change the outcome. That's the point, right? Release and let go of all this worry behind, oh, I'm going to be broke or this is not going to go a certain way. You know, God is not listening to me or my spirit guides aren't. No, you need to be more gentle with your thought process. OK, um, <clears throat> so let's let's go to worry here. I'm going to read this worry energy for y'all. It says worry is a wasted emotion. Wow. OK, it does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. When you ex when you expend too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. Worrying destroys the hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of the schoolroom called Earth, even though sometimes it can be ghetto on Earth, okay? I'm just saying. Remember that you are what you think. You have the power to create positive thoughts, which beget positive outcomes. You see here? Worry is a negative emotion and sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you right now? Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power resides. All right. So good energy. So let's talk about the advice here. The advice here, I believe, is right. Don't worry. Believe in yourself. Don't be pushing yourself too much. Don't be um, be gentle with yourself. Right. Have patience. Trust and know what you're here to do, because I feel like a lot of you guys know what you're here to do when it comes to your purpose, on, on, especially where you want to be here. <clears throat> it's like somebody has an entire plan for their life, or they just envision their life being and going in a certain direction by a certain time. So release the uh, the worry and uh, worrying about the outcome and the change, and then have patience. All right. Except that everything happens in divine order and divine timing. And I know, I know, I know divine timing. I tell you, every time we hear divine timing, it's like, dang, but when, but when? So let's read patience because that is your advice in this situation. It says earth has become a place of instant gratification. You must focus on the maxim. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. OK, this card has come to you because you need to learn the joy of anticipation. Wow. Learn the joy of anticipation. It's not about um, anticipation. What the heck did I just say? <laughs> anticipation. It's anticipation anticipation I, I don't i don't know guys listen okay work with me here it says <laughs> the goal he said this says the process of doing is so rich in lessons but when you concentrate only on the goal those experiences are disregarded life is unfolding and the more patience you practice the more you will let the universal energy celebrate itself through you and bring the experiences and situations your soul requires you need to learn that there is a rhythm to everything in the universe and the more you are living with patience the more aware you are of the lesson your soul is studying you are on a path there are signposts if you are speeding down the path you will miss the little miracles and treasures that have been placed there for you yeah there's definitely an energy of like in the fast lane but missing the stuff in between there 
you know, you got a goal and you see things, you envision your life and you envision things to be a certain way and you envision having this part of your life and this part of your purpose or your career or your family or your money or having a new house, a new car, maybe kids or family for some of you guys. And it's like, whoa, 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 slow down. You got to be more gentle with yourself. You know, release these thoughts. You have the ability to get the control. You have the ability and the control and actually the work ethic because I don't think work ethic is a problem here for you guys. I think this, this reading is really going to resonate for the people who are out there doing the work. You're putting in the work. You're not just talking about it. You you have an idea of what you want to do, and you're already taking those steps towards that. But it's like, well, okay, let me hurry up and get there. I'm going to do as much as I can to get there. Spirit is just saying, don't miss the little stuff on the journey. It's not about you getting there tomorrow or today. Okay, so stop worrying that this isn't happening fast enough and it's not going to come. Free yourself. Be courageous. Don't be afraid to to change your situation, especially if you're not seeing things very clearly, which I feel like you guys are. Um, some of you may not may be confused about and concerned about um, your your financial wealth and health and stability in your life and you're concerned that money is tight and you're not as stable as you prefer to be right now and that's okay the good thing is is that you're going to get there king of pentacles is out here uh queen of pentacles is out here ten of pentacles is here uh nine of cups is on the bottom of the deck like you guys legit this is going to be fine so let's get some more advice for you to close your reading out let's see advice here for the collective and if you guys would like to watch a uh, the the week ahead oracle readings for Patreon, they already have their reading, so you can watch this one in addition to the other one on on uh, Patreon. That link is uh, below in the description box. It's only five dollars to watch both to watch both. Okay, five bucks. We have spirit says it's time to stand and speak up for yourself. Understand that you are not a doormat for people to walk and talk over. Neither do you deserve to be treated as such. Remember that you have the power to say no more. Time for you to speak up for yourself in a certain situation. Okay. Speak life into yourself. Speak abundance into yourself. Speak positive things into yourself. Okay. Get yourself around from around people who don't trust the vision that you have for yourself or your life or for your purpose for that matter. Get yourself from around those people who want you to focus on the negatives all the time. And I'm not saying you should not be friends or listen or take accept wisdom from people who have experience and have done things before and they are saying, hey, be be willing to look at something from a different perspective because that's also necessary too, right? Because sometimes you need the the um you do need to look at things in in another perspective or get somebody else's viewpoint or vantage point on something. So that's gonna be your week ahead oracle reading. I love you guys. Make sure you hit the heart button. 